I'm going to look at the bar model and um, how the relationship between addition and subtraction happens and how that helps us to work out what a question is actually asking us. So um, a bar model, as you've seen in the previous videos, so you have two bars. Um, if I don't know what this value is, but I know that this number is five and this one's seven, this is my unknown and it's my unknown total because I don't know what that number is either and therefore because that's my total my whole I therefore can add up seven and five and I can get 12 and I therefore know my no my total however if I know that this is 12 and that this is seven but I don't know this one then I've got seven add something gives me 12 or I've got 12 take away seven gives me something okay and this here is my unknown change okay so I've got seven I'm doing something to it and my end result is 12 so the change that's happening is this number here obviously we know that number is five and the final way it can be used with addition and subtraction, the same example, is if I know that that's 12 and I know that's five, but this is my unknown. So 12, take away something, gives me five. Um, or 12, take away five, gives me something. Or even um, five, add something, gives me 12. All of them work with that calculation. But um, what I'm looking at, here is that this is my starting number so it's an unknown start so for this one what actually this is showing is that this plus 5 gives me 12 I am then able to because I know that subtraction and, and, and addition are the inverse of each other I can therefore do 12 take away 5 to find out my missing number which must be 7